there, everybody. It's Grandma Juju with another book for you. This time we're reading The Bernstein Bears and Too Much Birthday. And the reason we picked it is because today our family is celebrating two birthdays, two, two, Edward and Adam, and we're having a virtual birthday party. Anyway, here's the Bernstein's birthday. <clears throat> it was a bright, beautiful early September day in bear country. Mama Bear had harvested the last of the season's pumpkins and was piling them high in her wheelbarrow when she heard Papa's distance warning call, Timber! The call meant that he had felled another tree. I do hope Papa and the cubs are being careful, she said. Crash! went the tree as it <clears throat> fell to the forest floor. Bear, wood bear Papa was always careful about his work. He had cut the tree just so with his great saw. Then he and the cubs stood back and watched it fall onto the bed of brush that brother and sister had prepared. Look, said sister when all the dust and leaves had settled, it has rings. <clears throat> yes, said brother. Sort of like ripples in the pond when you throw a stone in. Those are annual rings, explained Papa. They tell us how old the tree is. Sister started to count, but she got stuck at 12. Brother took over and finished the count. 25, 26, 27. Wow, this tree is 27 years old. That's a lot older than I am, said sister. It sure is, brother laughed. You're only five. Brother was eight, and it annoyed her that however old she got, she never caught up with him. It didn't seem quite fair. Do we have annual rings, Papa? Sister asked. No, said Papa, giving her a little hug. We have something even better birthdays and birthday parties. And it seems to me, he said, that you're having a par birthday party pretty soon. <gasps> Am I really having a party? cried sister, jumping up and down with excitement. A birthday party with all the trimmings? Brother was excited too. I don't see why not, said Papa. Six is a pretty important birthday. The cubs got so excited that they took turns shouting, a real party with cake and ice cream and decorations and favors and games. Hmm, said Mama when they got back home. A birthday party, yes. Six years old does call for a little celebration. I suppose we could manage a nice, quiet little party. Hmm, not quite what. Papa and brother and sister were thinking, huh? But a nice, quiet little party wasn't what sister, brother, and Papa had in mind. What they had in mind was a big, noisy, exciting party with lots of guests and oodles of goods, goodies, and games and games and games and wall-to-wall -wall decorations and piles of fancy presents and a fabulous birthday cake. But let's not get carried away, said Mama. You know there's such a thing as too much birthday. Too much birthday, scoffed Papa and the cubs. How could you ever have too much birthday? Mm -mm. They're saying no way. Mama decided and hoped that she would be able to keep things under control. But it wasn't long before she too forgot her worries and began to go along with the excitement. The guest list got longer and longer and longer. And the birthday cake got bigger and fancier. And the party goods and goodies piled up higher and higher and higher. Papa and the cubs decorated the treehouse inside and out. <gasps> wow, what a celebration. And on the big day, Mama gave sister her present early, a beautiful frilly blouse, so she could wear it to the party. Oh, good, said Papa. The ponies and the merry-go-round are here. 
The what? cried Mama. Oh, didn't I mention that? Papa said. I rented ponies and a merry-go-round for the party. Hmm. The cubs were very excited, especially sister. What a party this was going to be. <gasps> ponies and merry-go-round. Mm, how fun. At three o'clock sharp, the guests began to arrive. They greeted sister and piled up their presents and then joined the fun. The first game was going to Jerusalem. You play it by going around and around, and the one that's caught on the rug, when the music stops, is out. It was lots of fun, except that sister was the first one out. Oops. Then they played spin the bottle, which is lots of fun too, except that sister was so shy, she wouldn't kiss anybody but brother. And all the other cubs laughed and teased. <laughs> Pin the tail on the donkey is a different game. And sister stuck the tail right on just the right spot. But of course, she couldn't win the prize because it was her party and that wouldn't be polite. Then, they all gave out the favors, and Sister got a party pipe, and she tickled Freddy's nose with it. Freddy got a plastic trick flower that squirted water ch -ch -ch, all over Sister's birthday blouse. Oh, dear. Look at that. The ponies in the merry-go-round were a big success, except Sister had sampled too many party goodies that she got a little sick from all that going up and down, up and down, up and down, and all that going around and around. At last, it was time to bring the party cake out and blow out the six candles. Sister took a deep breath, and she blew as hard as she could, and not a single candle went out. That's how many cubs you're going to have when you grow up, shouted her friends, teasing her with that old superstition. After a lot of blowing, though, sister finally blew out all the candles and everyone cheered and sang, happy birthday. That's when mama noticed a big tear beginning to roll down sister's cheek. By the time the song was over, she was crying so loud, you could hardly even hear the singing. Oh, sweetie, said Mama, what's the matter? It isn't fair, Sister B said between sobs. I was the first one out and going to Jerusalem. I don't like that kissing games, and I didn't get the donkey prize. Freddy squirted my new dress, and I don't want six cubs. I only want to have three, and she began to cry again. <laughs> oh, dear, it wasn't going the way she hoped. Well, don't you want to open your presents, asked her friends, crowding around. Well, there's nothing like opening a pile of lovely presents to cheer a person up. And after a while, she was back to herself again. Whew. Then, after a cake and ice cream, her friends wished her happy birthday and left. Sister sighed a big sigh, <sighs> then climbed up onto Papa's lap. Hmm. Thank you for my birthday, she said. Papa smiled and said, parties are exciting and presents are lovely, but Mama was right. The important thing is that you're going to be six for a whole year, and it's up to you to make the most of it, to learn, to have fun, to grow in every way. Say, she said, I wonder how much I've grown since my last birthday. Let's find out, suggested Papa. So they go upstairs and they measure her to see how tall she is. Wow, said brother, a whole inch and a half. Look at she was five, she was that tall, and now at six, she's that tall. She grew a bunch. And speaking of growth, said Mother, here's a school paper you did in kindergarten. Look at all those squiggly numbers. 
and here's one you did in first grade. There's quite a big difference. Look at those nice numbers there. And speaking of growth, said Mama, here's something else you need to look at, said Brother. Here's a painting you did from last year to this year. It was true. Sister had come a long way since she was five. And now that she was six, Papa announced that she was going to be able to stay up later, a whole half an hour later. <gasps> wow, a whole half an hour, Sister said proudly. Hmm. But the way it turned out, Sister Bear was so tired from too much birthday that she couldn't even stay up until her old bedtime. She was sound asleep when Papa carried her upstairs. <laughs> And how old are you today? asked Papa when she woke up the next morning. Six, said Sister, and then grinning from ear to ear. Six going on seven. So that's the birthday book, and we're going to have a great birthday here. We love you guys. Bye-bye.